<laughs> there you go. Mm, oh my goodness. <laughs> Where have you taken me? Ah, recognize it? That very How cinema. many movies we've watched here? Or how many lectures you skipped here? Okay. I don't understand. Are we going to the movies? The love seats are waiting for us. Well done. <laughs> That's true, they are. The flowers. <sighs> <laughs> the movie started long ago. Hello, that's okay. Ah, here we are. Hush, Sergey. <laughs> come on, come on over here. All right, right yes, over here. Yes, let's sit here. It doesn't matter yeah. what seats we have. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> ah. So, what's the movie? Well, who knows? Ah. Well, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> well, of course it makes a difference. Okay, I'll find out. <clears throat> hey, you guys. Sergey. What movie are we watching, huh? Drop it. Don't uh, disturb them. They should be at school at this time of day, by the way. <laughs> no, come on. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Lena. Oh, yes. <clears throat> <laughs> what, dear? My darling wife. <laughs> Seven years ago, you said yes. And? Mm -hmm. Since then, I've been happy that you married me. <laughs> Goodness, it's so nice. Really beautiful. I like it. Oh, thank you, honey. Somebody! <laughs> you spoil me rotten. <laughs> okay, then. I think it's my turn now. Yeah? My dear husband, <laughs> I'm grateful that over these seven years I haven't ever felt sorry for having married oh, you. Oh, my goodness. These are great. <laughs> <laughs> did you make them yourself? Of course I did. <laughs> Sanya caught me red-handed and nearly yeah. had a stroke. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everyone, look. I'm a yes. king. Uh -huh. yeah, the European ski resorts will be jealous of me because I'm so impressive. They haven't seen people like me, and now they will. I'm telling you, it will happen. <laughs> Who else could think of that, huh? A PhD who speaks yes. five languages, knits socks for me at work. Do I really deserve your love? Yes. Oh, you think so? Yes. Mm. 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 Oh, Zora. Mm. Is it urgent? By the way, you realize you're in a public place. Yeah. You kiss and talk like you're at your house, man. We're sorry. We're leaving now. Let's go, Sergey. Let's well, go. Come quickly, here quickly. instead. Uh, can you come to us, maybe? Sergey. Uh, guys, what's the address? Just drop it. What's the address? Drop for? it and let's go, please. <coughs> anyway, let's go. No. No te vas. Stepmother's Tales, Part 1. Kids today are so impudent, huh? Why impudent? <clears throat> Sergey, I guess we really disturb them. <laughs> well, then, that is sad. They disturb grown ups. <laughs> Parasites. <laughs> well, why do you think so? They may be good, well mannered guys for all we know, dear. Well mannered? I'll bring my sons up in a different way. Mm. Wait, wait, hold on there. What sons are you talking about anyway? Huh? I thought that we had agreed on having a daughter. Do you remember? Well, I suppose a little girl will do. Mm, well, I'm glad. <laughs> Imagine, I'll dress her up, she'll look like a little doll, and when you see her, I think you'll like it. Well, girls are all different as well and unpredictable. Sometimes boys are better. Oh, Zora. Hello, everyone. Hello, Zora. Lena, you're looking gorgeous as usual. <laughs> Thank you. Lena, excuse me, but I need to talk to your husband for a moment. Sure, what can I say? Well, thank you. Hello. Hey, so what's up? Kotov has come and he wants to see you. <sighs> no. Sergey, but why should we quarrel with him? Who's gonna quarrel? Well, who's eager to? 
Isn't he who quarreled with everyone because of his whims and stuff? Well, remember, he offers quite a sum for this timber. So what? Are we now to dump all over the other clients? The others get a free ride from us. <sighs> Zora, let's not discuss it. All timber is distributed this year anyway. Okay, let's have a meeting with him. Let's meet this Kotov and discuss it with him, but... But for next year. Though I wouldn't. Well, okay. We have a deal. <laughs> I'm leaving. Finished? Yeah. Zora, we're expecting you on Sunday. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you. Bye. Come on. Tell me, who is Kotov? Who? Kotov, Kotov. Kotov. <laughs> Kotov. Hmm, I have no idea. Tell me what you were saying about a little girl. <laughs> did the socks fit? Mmm, yes they did. Was he surprised? Mm-hmm, very much so. And what did he give you? Me? Dum dum da dum. <gasps> <laughs> Surprise, it's made of copper. Oh, my darling, that is not made of copper. Mm. Oh, my goodness. They're killing me. So what am I going to do? Why would happen? Kamneva's having a baby. Kamneva? Kamneva. But she's too that old. That is wonderful. Oh, well, it's wonderful? Some sense, maybe. Yet, yet the question arises, who's going to Stockholm in her place? Lena, dear, could you please? Hmm, Sanyich, I can only make it this week or next week. My Sergei is going on a business trip. Oh, that's great. I'll go and call them now. Sanyich, you'll have to find someone else to cover for me here by the winter anyway. But what for? It's only two weeks in winter, then there's a conference in the spring. Because I'm going to follow in Kamineva's footsteps and have a maternity leave in winter. Uh... By the way, I need to leave early today. My gynecologist appointment. <sighs> Your lady issues. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> Lena, are you pregnant? Not yet. Sergey and I are working quite hard on it. We had all the tests taken, and today I get the results. Is it a good doctor? Oh, very good, and a close friend. Yet, I'm nervous somehow. I don't know why. Uh, everything will be okay. Touch the wood for some good luck. Well, anything can happen. But not with you. You're an overachiever. A perfect husband, a house, a job. I mean, look, even a woman's doctor is your close friend. <laughs> well, I warned you about this. He'll now close all channels to us. I don't think he will. Look, I'm leaving for Pavelgrad tomorrow. Don't you go there too often? What does Lena think? Hey, that's none of your business. Okay, I'm sorry. Sergey, pardon me. Yeah. You asked me for Great, this, Great, thank though. you. How's he doing? He seems to be adjusting. He's a smart guy. They recommended him to us. Okay, I'm leaving. Tell Kotov what I said, that I won't do any business with him. But he won't let us get away with that, I warned you. I doubt it. I'll settle it all tomorrow. Lena! Hello there. You can come in. Well, thank you. How are you? You look exhausted. Was it well, a hard day for you? Well, not really. The nurse left early, so I'm lost in all these papers. Mm. Okay, so then where is it? Galia, my dear, can you help me? Maybe something can be done, huh? There's IVF in the end, though. Well, what IVF? No way. Uh, I don't understand. I took all the tests. Everything was fine. What am I going to do? If I were you, I'd maybe think of adoption. Of what? No way. I really don't want somebody else's child. She finally thought of having kids. Is it too late for her? Well, my dear, a woman is not a woman for very long. Not like they tell us in all those TV shows. No, but don't frighten me. <laughs> don't you get frightened. Now with you, everything is okay. Both with you and... Oh, that's right, Sergei, that's great. You're free to go and have kids. Goodness, thank you so much. But don't some people have kids after they turn 40? Yes, but that's an exception to the rules. Hmm. That poor woman. No, she's selfish. First she wanted a career, 
And now she doesn't want to take a kid from an orphanage. Well, you know what? I wouldn't be ready to take someone else's kid. Luckily, you won't have to. Oh, it's pouring. Uh. <clears throat> Sergey, honey, wait. You put on a coat with a hole in it, and I didn't even um, notice. Listen, I, I need to go. I want you to put on a new coat. One without a hole. Where is it? Hey. Oh. No, stop. You'll make it bigger. I'll throw it away. What for? I'll just mend it. Mm. Oh, wow. What a woman. What a woman. She likes to knit socks and mend holes. Sergey, why do you go to Pavlograd by car so often? It's a long way. Honey, well, I need a car there. I could buy a second one, of course. Uh, well, I think that's a good idea. And a flat as well. A flat? What for? Well, because it's better to stay in our own flat than a hotel. Uh, the hotel is fine there, not like in Stockholm. But uh, when you arrive on your own trip, um, mm -hmm. call me and let me know, all right? Well, of course I I'll will. I'll be waiting. I promise. Take care. Mm -hmm. Now hurry, dear. The number you're trying to reach is switched off or out of coverage at the moment. Well, hello, sir. Hello. But I can't reach Sergei, so I'm a little worried. Mm hmm. <laughs> no, I don't have a return ticket. Yes, yes. Oh, Galia, I'll call you back. I think that might be Sergei. Mm hmm. Bye now, dear. We'll talk soon. Hello? Yes, I'm his wife. Yes, yes, what is it? Well, what happened? Wait, who are you? An investigator? Uh, has something happened? Excuse me, stop the car, would you please? Is something the matter? Yes. Take me to the railway station, and quickly. Well, which one? Uh, just a moment. Just a moment, if you please. Okay. You could do this. Kazansky Station. What is oh happening? Oh, my God. My husband got into a car accident. Uh, excuse me, please, but could we go any faster, sir? Thanks a lot. Hot pies. 
pies, I have hot pies. Cabbage pies, potato pies, homemade pies, and you know you want one. Come up Thank and buy you, them at the market. I have some pies over here. Hot homemade pies. I have cabbage pies, potato pies, all kinds of pies for you here. Taxi! Want to ride in my taxi? Good afternoon. Hello. Do you know Hospital I One? I know that place. Is it far from here? Uh, half an hour. Take me, but I need to get there quickly. This way. He's what? What is going on? Well, did you reach the plant yet? Is Sergey there? Well, I just called there. What's wrong with you, Sveta? They said uh, that tragically our Sergey has been taken away from us. So what do you mean? Who said that? The foreman says he died in a car crash. Give me that, damn it! Hello, McCollich. Well, what the hell is going on over there? What? Wait, your suitcase. What do you mean by all this? And why would you let me in? Ma'am, you've got to wait here. I can't let you in Look, there. Look, it's nonsense. Look, I must see my husband. The doctor will be coming in a minute. I called him. Uh, hello there. Hello, ma'am. Let her come in. Thank you. How is he, doctor? Let's go. God, Sergey, my darling, how is it possible, my dear? Oh my goodness, can't anything be done to save him? What do you mean? We're doing everything we can. Okay. Could we transfer him to another clinic? Maybe one that's abroad? In his condition? It's dangerous. Oh my darling. It's too late for that. Oh my goodness. Believe me, we've done everything we could. And now everything depends on him. I hope so. Hello there. Hello to you. My name is Maxim Sokolov, an investigator. Oh. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I'll be right there. Good luck, sir. Yes, let's hope so. If this is too hard for you, I can come back later. No, no, I'm okay. Why an investigator? There are victims. Oh, my God. There was a collision and another car, right? No, uh, his passenger died. A woman. Uh, he was not alone? No, he was lucky. Where did it happen? On the highway, he was avoiding... Tell me, did your husband c come here often? Excuse me, could I see it for myself, please? You want to see it? Yeah, is it possible? Well, okay, I'll be downstairs. Mm-hmm. Here, he wanted to overtake another car, but the car swayed to the left to turn. Uh, apparently, your husband turned the wheel to avoid a collision. And the speed was high. Well, you see, besides that, it started snowing that day suddenly. The airbags didn't work for them, right? No way. I don't know how he survived. The woman, his passenger, was killed. Oh my god. Who was she? Why was he giving her a ride? Uh, Oksana Polyakova. Do you know her? No. Maybe they work together. She left behind three kids. Oh, my dear lord. Uh, do they have a father? No. 
She was single. Tell me, uh, do you know this man right here? No. I've never seen him before. Ivan Koltyshev. He was driving. The second car, you see. Uh, is he alive? He is, luckily. He was trying to turn and didn't check his mirror. Whew, he says he did, but didn't see him in the dead zone. I get it. Well, the experts will sort it out. Oh, will you excuse me? Uh-huh. Hello? Lena. Yes, or hello. So then, did they inform you? Lena? Know that we're all shocked about what happened here. And I'm leaving for Pavlograd immediately to help. Zora, how could you help me? What do you mean? I guess you are making a plan to bury him? Zora, what are you talking about? Are you nuts? Bury who? S Sergei. Sergei is alive. He's in a coma, but he's alive. <gasps> what? <gasps> alive? Wow. Damn it. Uh, they told us that he was dead. Zora, Sergei's in critical condition. He's in a coma, but we still have hope. Well, that's the best news that I could hear. Yes, thank you. Here you are. There's only one hotel. It's not the best in the world, but you need to get some rest. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah. And don't worry at all. We have good doctors here. Bad ones have long left. <laughs> well, thank you. Also, take this. It's my number. Call me for anything. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will. That's good. And one more thing. Do you think you could give me the address of the woman who died in the car? Uh, what for? What do you mean? I need to help her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. You too. I'll see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, here's my passport. Well, you know, my husband was registered here. His name is Sergei Vasilyev. Mm-hmm. He got into a car accident and he's in the ER. That's awful. I'm so sorry for your troubles. Yes, thank you. So then, would it be possible for me to stay in his room? Yes, that's possible. Uh, what's his name again? Vasilyev. Vasilyev? We don't have that name here. How come? I don't know why. Uh, are there other hotels around? Lady, it's a small town and there isn't any other hotel here. That's strange. Do you still need a room from us? Yes, please. I still do. Mm -hmm.
Sergei, my love. The doctor said you're doing great. You're struggling. Try your best, honey. You're strong, dear. You're very strong. I... I couldn't do it without you, darling. Can you hear me? Please come to your senses, my dear. We have a long and happy life still. We'll bring up children and grandchildren. I want to grow old with you, my darling. We'll buy a house on the seaside, don't forget. When we get old, we'll run to and fro along the beach. Our grandchildren will come to visit. You'll grumble when you're tired. <laughs> don't you leave me. No, please don't go away. Don't leave me. <sighs> you know, I can't find where you stayed here. I guess that was another surprise for me. Am I right, dear? Hello, good day. <sighs> Hello, doctor. You know what? I don't object to you being here because you're grieving, but you needn't stay here from dawn till dusk every day. Uh-huh. I hear you. Thank you. That's very good. Yes, that's very good. We're going to consult here. Do you have something to do? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I have some business to do here. I'm sorry. Excuse me, please. Is this Tretia Parkovaya Street here? Yeah. Okay, thank you. help you? Uh, I just wanted to ask if I could help you out somehow. Oh, well, come in, come in. Oh, take this. Thank you. Uh, there's a knife and a cutting board over there. Cut the vegetables. There aren't too many people. So, then did you work with Oksana? No, no. My name's Lena. Oh. Tell me, are you a relative? No, I'm only her neighbor. But they call me Aunt Anna. Everyone is at the cemetery. And I stayed behind to cook. It was the best way that I could be of help. I admit I'm so dog tired Wait, already. Wait, so is the funeral today? Yeah? Didn't you know that? No. Oh, and you said you want to help? <laughs> well, I want to help in a different way. Oh, do you mean financially? That's right. Oh, that's very helpful, since it's unclear whether this man will recover or not. Wait, what man? What do you mean? The father of her youngest. Look. Mm, he's in a coma over at the hospital. Oh, she's so unlucky. Yes, so very unlucky. First, she raised her son and daughter alone. I wonder how she managed. Nobody helped her. 
And then she got pregnant with the third baby. Oh, thank goodness the man turned out to be decent. He's married, yet he didn't dump her. And he came here from Moscow all the time to help her. Oh, she was so happy. She started to live a good life finally, and then all of a sudden, this car crash. He's in a coma. <laughs> and she's, she's in the grave. That's how our life is, it turns out. <laughs> oh. Let's finish it all. The funeral is over. Oh. Excuse me, can I have some water? I don't feel very well. Yes. Yes. Here, drink. I appreciate it. Hey, are you okay? Is something wrong with you? Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. back. Hello. Hello. Yes, welcome. Good to see you. Hello. Thank you. Yes. Uh, my poor sweetheart. <gasps> Did you bury your mom? What's all this for? Well, Natasha, dear, it's to celebrate her. That's stupid. Natasha, that's just the tradition. Natasha, I promise we won't stay here long. We'll commemorate her and leave. Well, Come on and sit down, everyone. Yes, yes, take a seat. Right, like that. Oh. Why are you wearing mom's apron? I, uh... Who are you? Sorry, I was just leaving. Pasha? Pasha, I know her. She is his spouse because I saw her on the internet. Why did you come here? Go away. Give me my mother's apron and get the hell out of here! Get out! Get out! Hold on. Get what out! are you get doing? Out! Stop. Get out! Quiet, 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 Tasha. Oh, honey, you're going to be okay. Calm down. Stop, Natasha, please. Calm down. Calm down. That's all you can do. Well, here is your coat. It didn't turn out well. I didn't know there was a funeral there. I wanted to help out and found myself at her place. And those poor children. I didn't see the smallest one. Only in the picture that was shown to me. They have a big photo there. Where you're all together. I guess they took him away for the funeral to not hurt his feelings. Oh, my dear God. It's all so sad. These kids had just buried their mother. And I couldn't see anything. Only this photo in front of me. Sergei. Sergei, dear. Sergei? Oh, nurse! Please come quickly! 
call the doctor as well! That's terrible, and I don't feel that well. That's okay. It's only been two weeks. You're conscious? Your reflexes are okay? It's almost like it's all too good to be true. Uh, uh. Oh, my leg. Well, you'll just have to work with it. You have a big injury. You need special exercises, physiotherapy, massage. Oh, by the way, I forgot to buy special oil. I'll be back in a minute. Lena, hold on. What is it? Did you see him? Only in the photo. I guess they took him away for the funeral. Yeah, I'm sure. He's only five. His name's Serioza. <clears throat> Nicknamed Little Brother, that's what we call him. Lena, please, you mustn't think that I... That for me it's... A double life I had led. Lena, it was painful. He was waiting for me and looking into the peephole and waiting for his dad to come home. Okay, and? If I had had a kid as well, would you have split your time between us? If I had told you, could you have accepted that? <sighs> That's why I was silent. She accepted my life. Listen, the fact that I didn't know anything doesn't mean that you didn't lead a double life. I learned about it anyway. This shocked me a lot, you know. What were you thinking? You're not five years old anymore. Over those five years, I thought if you had found out, you would leave me. So will you? I can't answer that now. As you wish. Father, father, father! Hey. Mm. I'll get the oil. Hello there. Good afternoon. You ready to be discharged? Uh, I'm more than ready. Congratulations. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Lena, what are we going to do? I'll need some time. I need to get used to it. To put up with all of this. Sergey, that's not what we need to discuss. He's my son. I know. But there are two more kids there. <sighs> well, I want to continue to help them. Do you mean you want to separate them? Well, what else? The elder kids are already of age. Sergey, he's their brother. He is. I simply don't think it's right for you to separate the kids. Well, it's not like we can take all three of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, hello. Hello? Um. <clears throat> Sergey, I guess. Excuse me, uh, are you possibly Koltyshev? Yes. Sergey, this is who was in the other car. <clears throat> <clears throat> Careful. Please forgive me, it's terrible. Well, what just happened that way, that's life. I'm sorry. 
I want you to compare your car and mine. What were you thinking cutting in front of me? I was looking for a country house to buy, and I was just driving around, and Drop I, it. Uh, what country house? You didn't let me in out of principle. What country I house do you mean? I crossed my heart. Enough. I've had enough. Did you come over here to get on my nerves? No, I came to, to say that I'm sorry. A woman died because of me, and now you're injured. That is my sin. She won't come back, and I'm not the one to cry to. Listen, listen. I didn't want to make any trouble by coming. Look, whether you wanted to or not, it's too late now, so just get out of here. Well, I pray and I won't stop praying, so would you tell that investigator that you don't demand anything from me? Oh, that's why you've come. What else can I do? Just leave. Go to prison for nothing? I want your word that it's forgotten. They initiated the case when I was in the coma, so I have no power in dismissing it. I don't know how he's going to live with all that. Well, I do. I pray and then I pray. There are a lot of folks who do that. Poor get him. Go ahead now. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Goodness, what a beautiful bike you have. Yeah, my father gave it to me. He's in the hospital now because of some car accident. And mom got really sick and they took her to another country to get help from a really good doctor. I hope for the best. Yeah. Oh. I want to bike some more. Well, go then, my dear. Go ride, and may God be with you. Well done. Okay. Go, go, go. Now, well done. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh. What did you decide? Will you take Seriosa? Yes. We'll take him. Well, I'm glad. At least one of them will live with his father. The elder kids will manage. Though they are still kids. Foolish, but they'll learn. At their grandmother's house, are the conditions any good, or will she move here? Why are you asking me? Ask those who are in charge. You're right, I'm sorry. Why do you care about the elders? Well, just take the little one, and God will bless you. You understand? I want to be sure I'm doing the right thing as all, ma'am. Well, everyone wants to do the right thing. The real question is, what's the difference? Anna, will you swing oh. me? Oh, my goodness gracious. You want me to swing you? Okay, come on. Let's go. May I swing him? <laughs> well, okay. Thanks so much. Can I swing you, my friend? Okay. How do you like it? Faster. Faster? Well, hold on tight. Like that. Up. He doesn't eat these sausages. How come? They're milk sausages. Well, he likes another brand of them. Which one? I don't remember. If he doesn't eat them, we could give him some milk and cornflakes, or peel some carrots. Pasha, look. Is that her with our brother? Yeah, that's her. Oh, that bitch. Watch and I'll show her. What are you doing here? Pasha, Natasha! Look and see how high I can fly! Well done, little brother. What, you want a closer look at your new purchases? We're not gonna give Serioza to you. Did you hear that? He won't go anywhere with you. We'll take him to our grandma's. Okay, stand up. We're going home. We bought you some ice cream. Why didn't you interfere? We trusted him with you, didn't we? Enough, let's go. <sighs> Excuse me, uh, could you give me the address of their grandmother? I think I'd like to visit her. You'd be wasting your time if you did. She just refused to take them in. She says she won't manage. They'll go and live at the orphanage. <sighs> we'll have to get on soon. What are they doing? That's the usual story. With and without any reason. It must be their age. That's common with puberty. <laughs> don't you start defending them, okay? You don't know what you got into. No, maybe not. But we don't have another choice. Dad, Dad, Dad! I want a drink! I'll go and get one. And a chocolate bar? And a chocolate bar, too. <sighs> Sergey, I'll be right back. Can you please get my favorite chocolate bar? Your favorite? You should have told Lena which one's your favorite, huh? 
Doesn't she know yet? Mm. Well, let's go and get you your favorite kind. Little brother will be right back. Uh-huh. Okay. Look here. It's what she wrote to Dad. Don't you dare. Well, why not? Because... Pasha, let's run away. Run away? Where to? To Grandma's house. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't need us there. Especially now. She's so old. Yeah. She doesn't want us. I don't want to go with her. Listen, Natasha, don't start, please. I feel sick. Here she comes, our do-gooder. Bought a chocolate bar and thinks that'll get her a medal. I bought some bars for you as well. Where are they? Who? Sergei took off and our little brother is gone. What? What, what? Our little brother went after you to tell you what kind of candy he likes. Did you lose the kid or what? Which way did he go? I didn't see him. Are we gonna go sleep on the train? <laughs> Yeah, you on the lower one, and me... Sorry. We're here! Pasha, let's go and take our seats. Yeah, okay, let's go. thank you. Hey, aren't you going to help your mom? No, she's not our mom. Who is she? Nobody. Hello. Yes, come on in. Lady, are you coming or what? I am, I am. Well, hurry up. What other choice have I got? I don't know what to say. I, I can't figure it out. You know, I can figure it out in the evening and in the morning. It all crumbles into pieces again. Who could have thought that Sergei... I'm sorry, Lena. That he could have lived a double life? Well, something like that. And how are you doing? Well... We're trying to pretend nothing happened, but it's difficult. The boy keeps asking us daily when he'll get to see his mama. Are you working now? Yes, I am. I took on some translations. Oh, Galia. Do you know how my life can be called now? As if I was taking one exam after another. I'm keeping control, thinking about what to say and how to say it. I'm always thinking of answers. And the cooking, Galia. Can you believe I have three kids at home? Yes, three. The little brother always wants me to tell him stories. All in all, Galia, it's all far from simple. Yes, and little Lena always wanted to have a little girl. <laughs> I know, I always wanted a little girl. Galia, when I set the table, I have to remember to put out more plates now. I don't think I've ever served more than four people there. Okay, then. Dinner is ready. Hmm. Why aren't you eating? Because I don't want to. I'm sort of full as well. Oh, really? And are you sure about that? I'm sure. Give him a little more. Here, just a bit. 
Here you go. Sergey, I need to go home this weekend. Why is that? To get a couple of things. We'll buy new things. You can't buy things like that here. Really? What kind of stuff is it? Shut up, idiot. Tasha, you're not supposed to say that dirty word. <laughs> Your brother's right. Damn, I need... I forgot to call Zora. But damn is a bad word too, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, Dad didn't mean it and he's sorry. <laughs> Tasha, if you want to see some of your friends, you are welcome to invite them over. Pasha, do you know the train schedule to Pavlograd? I do, the way they've always been. Express trains in the evening, and other trains are all the same. Natasha, what's up with you? Lena's talking to you. <sighs> Little man, should we go and have a bath? Hmm? Mm. Mm. Let's go. Story? And a story. I'll make something up. <sighs> okay. Would you two clear the table? Mm-hmm, of course we will. Natasha, dear, looky here. Clear my little table. <laughs> Shut your dumb face. And scrub the floor to invite your friends to my palace, please. Especially Anton. Now stop that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And suddenly he saw a light far away. He thinks, well, I could have a smoke, and if the people there are good, he can sleep under the roof. But smoking's bad for you. Of course it is, yet he didn't know. Well, go on, go on. He reached an ancient castle on his journey. Lie down. He sees that the gate is wide open. He enters the gate, knocks at the door, yet nobody answers. Then he knocks at the door again, and the gate opens on its own, right in front of him. Well, but go on, tell me more. He enters the hall downstairs. Nobody's there. The wood is crackling in the fireplace. He takes a pair of tongs for the coal, and suddenly a giant snake with a woman's head jumps right out of the fire with a big golden crown atop of her head. Oh, but I bet she's gonna bite him. No. Our hero is a brave soldier. He takes his saber out of his sheath and swings it at her. Won't he start to stutter after such tales? Natasha, go away! Go on! Please don't kill me, mighty brave soldier, says the slithering snake in a human voice. I have been waiting for you here. Is he asleep? Yes. Shall I turn the light off or? Turn it off. Good night. I've arranged an interview with the school director tomorrow for them. School, of course, I completely forgot. <sighs> Sergey, don't. Not right now. Lena, how much longer will you do this? I'm punished enough. Sergey, what are you talking about? I am not punishing you. I simply can't do it.
What's the school like? It's quite high in the ratings. It ranks second in all of Moscow. Tasha, don't you get it? It's a cool school, not like the dump we used to go to. Oh, Natasha, you mustn't say that, though. Sister, Stop kids it. here. So tell us, will you take us to school and pick us up or what? No, you'll go by public transport if they take you up, of course. Will they pick me up as well? <laughs> Little man, you'll attend prep school and we'll go to your classes just twice a week. And we could take Pasha and Natasha with us. Mm-hmm. When will we go to the pet store to look at those animals I like to see? What shop is that? Pasha and Natasha know the shop I mean. There are various animals. You could even buy a rabbit if you wanted. Yeah, I saw that there's a big pet shop near your place, Lena. We wanted to take our little brother there. Yes, and there are kittens and fish there. Well, okay, we can go after school. Super. We'll go to the shop. Okay, Pasha. Not bad, then. Not bad, then. Your sister has problems with math, as I see. Mm -hmm. You know, my teacher always found fault with me. You get it. Mm, okay. Well, yes, your brother has no problem there. I'll have to tutor her. It's for the best. Oh, that's lovely. Well, that would be very good. Before the test, you'll have to take. Why do we need to take a test? It's just a private school. You'll take us if we give you cabbage. Alas, Pasha, we have very talented students here, and we can't take weak students even if they give us some cabbage, as you put it, you see. Do you have tests on all subjects? No, only the basic ones. Well, you can see our grades. Do you think we made them up or something? No, I don't, but these are the rules. Can I ask you to take your brother and leave the office, kids? I need to talk with Lena for a few minutes. Yes, of course. Little brother. This is for you. It's a gift. Oh. Serioza. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Come on, buddy. I'm sorry for what you heard. I know the stress, puberty, age, it's all clear. Tell me if they see a helpful psychologist. No, we didn't have time for that. We've just returned. But it's necessary. In fact, that's our first condition. I'll talk to you only after such a consultation with a therapist. Very well, we will. Uh, could you recommend some good, experienced specialists for the children? Oh, sure, yes. We have a very good specialist, a great psychologist with experience. I'll get him. Just wait a moment. Paulina, darling, we need your consultation. Can you see the mother? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, she's here in my office. Okay, then. Okay, you can talk to her now. Thank you. Hello? Oh. oh! Give me a bedpan! Stand up, coward! I'm wounded, I can't, little brother. You can go to the seesaw if you want. How long are we gonna sit here? What is that bitch doing? Whoa, 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 just relax. She's a dumb do-gooder. Seriosa, here is your tail, here is your apple. What a bitch. Well, I don't exactly love her myself yet. It beats the orphanage. But you don't get it. It's all because of her. Without her, Sergei would have lived with us and Mom would have been alive. Would you shut your mouth? Why should I shut my mouth? Mom is dead now. She doesn't have any problems. Her husband earns money and she had no kids. And all of a sudden, she gets a child, and she doesn't even need to wash his diapers. Well, she might take Serioza, yet why does she need us, huh? What do we have to do with her? I don't know. I'm wondering how Sergei talked her into it. What, Sergei? He reminds us about the orphanage, though. She persuaded him through pity to take us. Nonsense. Well, even if it was, it's all clear now. What's clear to you? Well, she wants to tame Serioza step by step, and then boast to everyone about how cool she is. 
Well, and I read in some magazine that rich people like her find charity so fashionable. That's crazy. Yeah, she'll try to make money off of us, right? I remember how you replaced salt with some washing powder. Are you on her side now? With that bitch? With that dirty harlot? Listen, she didn't tell Sergei anything. Oh, so you must think she's so noble. And I... Just go to her. Listen, that's not how it is. I'll stay with you. Everything's okay. Tasha. Get lost. Well then. We can poison her, huh? Just buy some thermometers. What thermometers? The ones with mercury. I doubt we'll have any trouble with that. Get lost, you clown. <laughs> What new story are you going to tell me today? <sighs> well, you'll have to wait and see. Make it about a wicked stepmother. So, what is a stepmother? An evil woman who eats up kids. Then I don't want to hear it. Not about a stepmother. Take the stick. I'll take you home first. And then I will need to go, okay? Uh, so when will we go and look at the animals at the shop? Yeah, you promised to take the kids to the pet shop. Well, it was you who promised. Was it a real snake in that window? Yes, beautiful, right? Yeah, so can we buy it? Oh, no, my dear. I'm not good with snakes, you know. By a mouse, then? Well, I... I mean... I'm afraid of them, I think. But why, though? They won't bite you. Well, I didn't like them as a child. They just look unpleasant to me. Oh, so you don't like animals, you mean? <sighs> That's not true. No, I do. Little man, let's go and have a look. Give me your hand. Yeah. I like dogs, and I had one of those when I was a child. Yes, I can tell, because your house is full of dogs. Well, you understand. We work a lot and go away on business. Yes, yes, it's all very interesting. All right, little brother, here, come with me, and I'm going to show you something cool. Uh, I'll wait for you outside. Oh, okay, sure. Don't be long, because I have things to do. Yeah, I remember. Oh, where's Pasha? He wanted to take a brochure on fish bowls. Will we be able to buy something later? Because I want to buy a hamster as a special gift for my mom for when she comes back. She's not even afraid of them. Yes, Serioza. But I don't want any surprises. That's just more responsible. We have to remember animals are not toys. And they are living beings. And we all have to treat each other with respect. Yes, yes. As a big, close-knit family, so what? Well, for example, I don't like all those hamsters and reptiles. So maybe we could take some fish. Anyway, before you choose an animal, we need to all agree on it. Right? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. A dog, for example. We need to agree on what breed it will be and who will walk it. I can walk them every day. <laughs> you, I will. You? I vote that we get a dog then. Well, here. Let's go. Let's go now. Come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Natasha, will you help him fasten his seatbelt? Thank you so much. Tell us what kind of doggy you had then. A Labrador. And then we had a mutt, not a pedigree. Not a pedigree? Wow, wasn't that so noble of you? Okay, now eat your lunch. I need to go now. Serioza didn't have his nap, so put him to bed early tonight. Mm -hmm. 
The book with tails is on the table. Look, you can totally go if you need to. We'll manage on our own. Is being a mutt some kind of an illness? No, it means it's ugly and is always for free. And homeless. I want to get a lonely dog like that. Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> I need to go see her. Serioza, wait. <laughs> what happened? Oh, no, don't, 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 don't touch them. They're awful. Oh my god. <sighs> that was heavenly. Yeah, and that was music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I picked them up and they'll just live in this little box, okay? Listen, how they're moving around in there. No, 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 no. I'm still afraid of them. Well, the lady in the shop told us that they don't bite or anything. You said from the shop? Yeah. It was a surprise from Pasha and Natasha. I saw them. Do you like surprises? <clears throat> no. No, not really. I'll buy a special box for them tomorrow, okay? Oh, my goodness. You're sure you got them all? I got them all. Well, okay. Now please take them to Pasha or Natasha's room. And wash your hands properly, with lots of soap. Okay. Mm-hmm. How's it going? Hello, Sveta. I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm fine, just working. Been thinking of you. Is Sergey in his office? He's in the conference room. Okay. Hello, Lena. Hello, my dear. Hello, dear. And how are you doing? I'm fine. I just came to steal my husband away. A savior. Now take him, because we're sick of his principles already. Yeah, he's like that. A man of principles. Goodness, you look tired. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. I just decided to drop by to see you. Okay, I see. I guess it's time to go. Zara, check it all once again and send okay. it for me. all right. Okay, but first, where's my third leg? Oops. Here you go. I need that. Shall we go? Let's go. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, so what's the word? Have you decided? Are you tired? I say we go to our restaurant. I want to get some alone time and not go home yet. Sergey, but we need to talk. We can talk right here. I consulted a psychologist. Lena, don't start this. I understand what's going on. And you and I can cope ourselves. I really think we can handle it all. Well, okay, everyone has rats in the attic, oh. but... I... Why did you remind me of that? Well, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. We now have cockroaches at home. Why do we have cockroaches? Hmm. Well, they're from Madagascar. They're this big, and I'm not exaggerating. Pasha and Natasha bought them today. Okay, so what? Is it good or bad news? Well, you know my attitude to all that. I can't stand the disgusting things. And there are lots of them. Now, wait a minute. How many of them are there? That's not funny. A whole box of them. Drop it. Sergey, that's not the point. I'm talking about a psychologist, after all. It's for the kids, and not one for us. Why? I mean, did they do something during the interview? What happened now? Nothing did, but... Without a consultation, they can't go to school. That's what they told me. 
Let them go and consult the psychologist. If they don't, I'll take them there then. Well, great. Lena, are, are these cockroaches that can rattle? Uh, Sergey, please, I'm talking about serious things. Well, I mean... And I also think that Seriosa, he needs... to start working through some more serious problems. Well, what's the matter with him? Good evening. What's up? Little brother asleep? Mm-hmm. What were you doing? Nothing special. Okay. Call your brother. I think we need to have a talk. Did she blow the whistle? Where did you hear such words? Blow the whistle. It's nothing. Call your brother. Sit. Yeah, sit down, sis. We're going to have a family meeting, just like in a movie. So we'll all get along. <laughs> well, is it cool if I abstain from this crap? No, you can't. Okay, look. We'll discuss what you bought later, but for now we're going to talk about something else. You shouldn't have done that. Your turn, Lena. Listen up. I visited a psychologist today. A very good specialist. And you will need to see him. I won't see him. Let those who are afraid of roaches visit a psychologist. You'll see him as well. <laughs> I don't think so. You will, you have to. Sergey, please. I told the psychologist that you, we, haven't told Serioza yet. That his mother is dead and we have to tell him the truth. What's the point? We chose to do it in a year. I know, but the psychologist explained to me that it's wrong. Why is that? Because children can feel deception and they feel pain. When Serioza ends up finding out the truth, he won't forgive us. I understand I'm not being persuasive, but that's why, and that's why I ask you to see the psychologist and ask him all of these questions yourself. Well, f I still don't follow it. What can't you follow, Pasha? It's all more than clear. What's clear to you? That we ruin her controlling our little brother. Do you mean Lena? Sergei, don't start now. No, wait, Lena. You are a nasty girl, and how dare you talk like that? What do you mean she's controlling him? He's my son. He is my brother. You are going to show us respect when you are in my home. Don't you shout at my sister. You, what exactly are you doing? How dare you, huh? Enough. Calm down, both uh, of you. Please. Why did you cheat on her if she's such a perfect wife in the first place? What? Ah, you heard me. What's going on? Why are you shouting at each other? No, it's okay. It's okay. That's it. Let's go, my dear. It's okay, and we won't shout anymore. Hello, my dear. Hello. This is for you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank this you. This is for the kids. Oh, thank you. Well, I can't stay very long. Sergey's in the bedroom since his leg is aching. What do the doctors say? Well, nothing new. Come on in. Hmm. We're home now. We're home now. Yeah, I see. I see. How was your walk? It was pretty awesome. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, kids. This is for you. Ah, uh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome in. Why, thank you. Hello. Hello, come in. What's happening? Here you are. So I guess the tempers are a little high around here, huh, Sergey? They are. Like a rebellion. Which one's this? Uh, that's from Kotov. <clears throat> well, are the kids rebelling? They are indeed, and going mad. Ah, uh, you know, honestly, I think they've always been like that, if you ask me. Oksana complained that she couldn't cope with them at one point. Oksana said that? Well, yes. In fact, I knew her. I know, but did she complain to you? No. Well, kind of. She lamented, so to say. Yeah? About everything? Oh, so you want the details? Sergey, forget that. It's more important that you take a closer look at these documents. 
All right. What is this? What is this from? And the cock ran out of the fox's house. I told along you. Along with the cat, times. and no they business with chose to run home. Where and can the I fox was left now? with nothing. What are we gonna do? Well, I think she deserved it. Yes. And what about the cat? Oh, what about the cat? Let's find out after dinner. Dad and Uncle Zora need to sign all these papers, so we'll let them. When you and I go to bed, I'll tell you more. That's okay. Actually, Uncle Zora knows a lot of funny stories as well. Does he? And he's really good at some magic oh, tricks. Oh, that's very nice. Did you see him before this, my dear? He used to come to us before Mom got ill. Hmm. What story are you gonna tell me? <laughs> Seriosa, I said it's a secret. When you go to bed, then you'll find out. Very well. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me, I'll be right back. Hello. May I help you? I'm here to see Sergey. Sergey, uh, excuse me, but what is this about? What is this about? What are you doing here? I want to talk to Sergey. But I told you I talked to him myself. Yeah? So did you talk to him? Did you decide yet? We need to figure it out. None of us did it, and it's all a big mistake. It's all a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake that you took my money and are trying to get away with it. Calm down. Zora, I don't understand what's going on. Who is this man? What's going on, I'll tell you. They let me down, yes. They took my money and they want to get away with it all, right? Right? Get Zarioza out and you get out of my house. Don't you see you're frightening the children? Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Why are you I told you to get out of here already. Hey, don't you push hey, me. Hey, what's going on? Idiot. What's Sorry. going on? Uh, oh. That's ah. it. Get out of here, and don't you ever come back! Yeah, whatever. You hear me? You need to have some patience. Does it patience. hurt, Daddy? Does it hurt? I'm fine. I'm, I'm that's fine, it, that's Lena. That's it. You're very lucky. Mm-hmm. I'm really a lucky dog. Sergey, you should tell the police. Sure, sure. I'll go and run to the police with my crutches in tow like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what that man wanted. I don't know, but he says we took his money. What do you mean by that? We need to settle it right away. I will handle it. I promise. Figure it out, Zora, please. Sergey, it's time for your injection. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'll go with you. You'll come with us. Well, okay, you're brave. Okay, bye. Uh, you'll look at it. See you. Zora, thank you very much again. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. So then, kids, are you learning how to drive your guardians mad? Well, that's harder than cockroaches for your stepmother. <laughs> Look, Natasha, everyone knows about us already. Would you prefer an orphanage? Maybe an orphanage? Why do you care? <sighs> Would you like some advice? No, but thanks. Oh, that's cute. Then fine, I'll give it to you anyway. Next time when you come up with some bright idea like... an orphanage, or maybe even how, to drive your stepmother mad, or anything else, just ask yourself what is better for our five-year-old brother. You should be improving. And ask what is best for your brother. Is it when he's looked after by Lena, or is it better if he's looked after by some stranger? Ask yourself that, because if so, you'll understand everything at once. Well, of course, that is if you care about your five-year-old brother like you claim to. You got it? I'll see you later. Oh, hold it there. Tell me. So then, did you like the puppet show? Yes, I did, but you told me the story in a different way. Well, it's more interesting then, isn't it? Right. Do you think we'll go there again? Definitely, but we will go to some other show. I want to see that one again. That one again? Okay, we'll go see the same one. What is it like where you work? Well, I can show you. Let's go. Mom, you 
used to take me to her work. I know all the rules and everything. I must be quiet, not disturb anyone, and speak only when I'm asked how old I am and what my name is, You're too. Who do boy. I see there? <gasps> Good Hello. <Hello. laughs> oh, how I missed you so oh, much. I missed you as well. <laughs> oh, oh well, who is off. this big boy? My name is Serioza. I'm five years old. And I'm gonna start school very soon. <gasps> Good boy. Do you go to kindergarten? No, I'm staying with Lena. And Lena tells me lots of stories. <laughs> <laughs> now tell Lena where we went today. We went to a puppet show. Oh, Lena is really good at puppets, you know. And she wrote a whole paper about her stories. Remember? <laughs> Hello, Sanyich. How are you? Hello there, Mr. Sanyich. Well, hello to you as well, you polite little man. Honey, take a seat and then I'll show you something. We were taking a walk not far from here. That sounds like a good time. Sanyich, did you manage to take a look at what I sent you? Yes, and it was perfect as usual. That's good. Anything else for me? There is. Lena, now listen. I actually think you could use your uh, translation skills much more efficiently. Sanyich, I can't do that right now. I can't work in the office or go away on business. You know I can only work from my home. <sighs> Fine then, I accept it and family is family. So, young man, tell me. What's your name? My name is Serioza. I'm five now. I have a brother and a sister, Pasha and Natasha. On Saturday, it's their birthday party with a cake. Oh, wow. That looks just wonderful. All right. I won't return this. Why did you buy so many chips? You bought them for us. I understand, but it's not the best food. What's a party without chips? We got them just in case. Well, they're not healthy. You shouldn't eat them. Oh, who cares? It's our birthday today. We forgot to buy ice cream. We'll stop for some on the way home. No, let's go back. Yeah, really. Here they sell very good ice cream. We'll be right back, okay? She's getting out of the car. Oh, all right. <laughs> Hold on. She might know uh, uh, it's us. Uh, check and see if she's looking. Come, let's go. Okay. She will purse her lips again. Yeah, Uncle Sergey will shout at us. Nah, she won't tell him. Aw, oh, damn it, she left us. What a bitch. Our phones are in the car. Do you have any money? No. We'll have to walk then? Well, it looks like it, Natasha. Oh man, I hate her more now. Yeah. Don't be mad Come at on. us. We just lost track of time. Arr. It's our Arr. birthday. Walk the plank. 
Listen, oh, I looked everywhere. Oh, wait, I didn't I find yell. any candles. Oh, They're oh, inside no. the green box on the lower shelf, <laughs> right by it. my shoes in there. <laughs> Did you look? Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I'll just take a look at myself. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> I can't. Help. <laughs> Don't think we're bad people. Of course, sometimes we go too far. But we have integrity. Oh, here they are. Why couldn't you find them? We're the pirates. 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 We're, the pirates. We're, the pirates. We're hungry pirates. Mm. We could eat a wolf after our journey. <laughs> now give us a wolf and a cake. <laughs> Everything is ready. Uh, where's Lena? Maybe she went to the neighbors. I think she huh? went to borrow something. Do you know which neighbor? I have no idea. Hmm. And she left without her phone? It's fine. Let her stay there for an hour or two. And think about how she acted on our birthday. I've had enough. I don't really care. No, I'm unlocking the door. Oh, you are? <sighs> yeah, sure, I've thought of that. But I'd have to give them a lion's <clears throat> share of the profit. <sighs> I'm gonna get her. Where's Pasha? I'm right here. Little brother is watching cartoons and said he can't wait for the cake anymore, so sit. Sorry, but I've had it. <laughs> Tell the kids just have their party without me. <sighs> I don't feel very well. <laughs> Give Serioso some cake he's been waiting for. <sighs> I'll take a bath and then just go to bed. <sighs> I'm sorry. 